Hey, what's up guys, this is Alex and today I have a quick tip for you. So, uh, it's about how to save insane amounts of RAM while using contact thanks to the purge function. So one of the things I wish I knew when I just started out is this method of saving RAM because I remember when I started out making orchestra music, I loaded patches inside my contact and I noticed, shit, even one, just one single patch can go up to, you know, 500 megabytes of, in here, 850 megabytes of RAM usage. And I was only able to open up just, you know, up to six or eight patches before my RAM completely ran out at the time, you know? Because, like, this is insane, like, compared, like, we're only using this patch to write this. Which is very basic stuff. This taking 850 megabytes is insane. And I knew I didn't know better, so I just used contact like that. And I assumed that it was so heavy, despite the simplicity of my tracks. But then I discovered the purge function. So the way contact works is that it loads um, like this. Sample library here is loaded into my RAM. So when I press a key, the corresponding sample is triggered from my RAM and gets uh, play played back by FL Studio. So the thing is that for a single note, there are multiple samples in libraries like this. Metropolis Arc is a very professional sample library. It tends to have multiple notes for a sing multiple samples for a single note. So there might be like ten samples of uh, notes of uh, G notes of this articulation, and they are all loaded into the RAM. And there are also 10 samples for every single note here available in this articulation. And there are other 10 samples for every single articulation as well in this patch. And there are like something like 10 or 12 articulations in here. So we have a massive collection of samples which are already loaded into the RAM for all the things that I'm not even using. For all the notes that I'm not even using and all the articulations that I'm not even using. So what I'm saying is that there's a lot of RAM which is being used for nothing in this 850 megabytes. To avoid um, having those, those samples inside your memory, like to avoid your RAM being filled by samples you do not use, you can use the purge function or the update sample pool, uh, which uh, is done by going either here or here. In here you can do it globally if you have multiple patches open. You go here, you do global purge, and you can either click on purge all samples, which pretty much completely erases all the samples from your, from your RAM. This way, uh, or you can click the update. I'm going to click the update sample pool. And what this does is it takes all the samples that have been triggered into the RAM and it keeps them there. While it takes all the samples that have not been triggered, like all the single notes that I haven't used in this part, and the single notes from the articulation I haven't used, and they, it deletes them from the RAM. So now this part is only using 30 megabytes compared to the 80 and 50, 850, uh, 100 gigabyte, uh, megabytes it was before. So now it's much more fair. And much more usable because then I can, like, I can open a lot of patches if they only wait, if they only uh, take 30 megabytes of RAM compared to <laughs> 850. If I were to use the purge all samples instead, it would have deleted all samples uh, despite uh, if I use them or not. So you see here, uh, memory zero, you know, it's not, there's no sample in the memory. And what happens is that when you trigger a sample um, with this patch, it's going to load that sample into RAM and then it's going to play it back. So it might, might lag at first. In this case, it's not lagging, but you see it's now populating because it's collecting the samples that are being used into the RAM. So it's at 7 megabytes, and by the time this should be done playing, it should be back to 30. So that's a good thing to do, the global purge function, and I do it throughout my whole template. Actually, my template is... Uh, I made a video about it in the past, but yeah, it's already set up with all the instruments sometimes. I have a template which is empty and one with the instruments, but whatever, whenever I load an instrument into contact, I always, always purge it. I do a purge of samples always so that it's it doesn't load into the RAM uh, useless samples. Doesn't load useless samples into the RAM. 
and uh, yeah, this stays true even if you save a project. See, so I, I save this project here with uh, the purge function, so some samples are not loaded. Other patches have only minimal amount of samples loaded. And when I save my project and I open it up, it only loads the samples uh, which are uh, marked as uh, used in the track. So this also saves, saves, uh, saves me time when I'm opening my, tra opening my tracks, because before, when I didn't use the purge function and I opened my tracks, contact always loaded all the samples of all the, the patches and all the key switches, etc. And yeah, you can assume that was like various gigabytes of RAM and it took quite some time to open the project itself. But now that I use the purge function uh, and it only, um, like it saves me thousands of megabytes of RAM, when I open a project, it's much faster to load it as well, you know? So that's one function you might, you might want to use here. Global purge, update sample pool, or purge all samples. Yeah, so that's how you save RAM in contact. I hope this helped you, and for more tips and tutorials about orchestral music, stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, and check out the rest of the channel, where I have various uh, hours of tutorials already. And I'm going to continue post them in the future. So that's it for today. Alex out.